Today I'm making Mudrik worth every penny. But for that we have a wheel of upgrades for him. Let's do a couple of stints for season 1 because he definitely needs some work. First upgrade is gonna be max 3 of his lowest attributes. That means I'm upgrading his head in accuracy to 99 and his interceptions to 99. And let's do another spin, why not? I got plus 35 heading and plus 35 jumping. After season 1, he scored 0 goals. Season 2, another w spin. 5 star weak foot as his first upgrade, we'd like to see that. And his second upgrade is max strength. In season 2, Mikhailo Mudrik scored 4 goals in 28 appearances without any assists. But progress is progress, so I don't blame him. Time to upgrade him more. Spin for season 3 is max stamina for Mikhailo Mudrik. And the second spin is plus 30 finishing. That's massive right there. Season 3, Mikhailo Mudrik is already 80 overall. But if you put him at striker, he becomes 80 overall but with plus 6. Probably because of his physicality. Unfortunately, this season Chelsea went out of the Champions League versus Real Madrid, even though Mikhail Mudrik scored some pretty nice goals. But at the end of the day, he finished the season with 23 goals, which shows progression. Season 4 upgrade for Mikhail Mudrik is gonna be plus 5 pace. And the second upgrade will be plus 5 to all dribbling attributes. That's that's massive. And in year 4, he finally got past Real Madrid with 6 5 4 on aggregate. However, Chelsea lost to Liverpool 7 3 on aggregate in the uh, quarterfinal of the Champions League and got to the final of FA Cup against Arsenal. And in penalty shootout, Arsenal came out on top and it's not bad news because Mudrik's favorite team won the cup. He himself only scored 16 goals which shows a little regression from last season but we're gonna keep on upgrading him. With a little upgrade to all of his passing attributes and his agility balance and reaction attributes, Kylo Mudrik became 94 overall. So he needed some help in season 5 in order to win uh, those trophies, so I decided to sign Jude Bellingham, Rafael Liao, Eder Militao and Marquinhos. In season 5 was time to go to work. Our first game of the season was against Manchester United. More enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. It is Manchester United taking on Chelsea. And we lost. But this didn't stop Mikhailo Mudrik from dominating the league. After beating everybody in the group, uh, it was time to play PSG in the round of 16 of Champions League. And after win winning first leg 2-1 against PSG, it was time to play Carabao Cup final versus Manchester United. And with the help of a goal from Mikhailo Mudrik and a comfortable 3-1 victory, Chelsea wins Carabao Cup. <laughs> Wise man once said, job's not finished, so it's time for leg 2 of Champions League round of 16. And with Mikhailo Mudrik scoring in the 5th minute, Chelsea secure a 4-3 win on aggregate over PSG. Quarterfinals we had to face Barcelona and we finished with the 3-2 win in the Camp Nou and a 3-1 victory in Stamford Bridge. Even though Champions League is very important, we don't, must not forget about Premier League. Premier League came down to a final stretch. With important victories over Arsenal and Newcastle, Chelsea Football Club was ready to meet AC Milan in the Champions League semi-finals. With a comfortable victory in Stamford Bridge, we were moving on to play the Premier League final versus Manchester City. The match ended in 1-1 draw, which put the title in our hands. And with the final day victory over Southampton, Chelsea were crowned a Premier League champion. <laughs> There's more to play. Final of the Champions League versus Real Madrid. Real Madrid, the team who beat us all those previous years. We were here to finally take revenge. With Mikhailo Mudrik scoring on the 25th minute, it looked like Chelsea can win it all. But Benzema tied the game at the 83rd minute and we had a draw until the end. The Champions League had to be decided on penalties.
Dramatic fashion, Chelsea Football Club wins Champions League and Mikhailo Budrick wins another trophy. But it's not the last trophy he will celebrate this video. Because that year, Mikhailo Budrick won Ballon d'Or and sealed himself as one of the best players in the world and became worth every penny. But if you want to see what happens to Arsenal after they bottled the league, you can press here and watch this video.